Hello, my name is Jason Blades, Savage Weight Loss. Let's take a look here at the date. We got February 28th. Now, February 28th, it's not quite the end of the month. It's one day off, but we're going to do our weigh-in all the same. So here we are at the scale. There we are. All zeroed out. Get it on the scale. Waiting for it to stop. There we are. 369. So, 369. That means we lost one pound. One whole pound. That's nothing. That's a big disappointment. But it is what it is. We must go on from there. All right, so one whole pound. That's not a big difference. That's horrible. When I'm supposed to be losing at least 17 a month to reach my goal of 200 pounds in this year, that's nothing. So, um, but like I said, we must move on. Uh, one thing that I know I wasn't doing is I wasn't making time to work out. I wasn't working out every day or even three times a week like I should. I was working out um, probably like one to two times a week. That's honest. Um, it's not enough. I need more. March Madness. I said I'm going to work out every day. Three times a day. And what I'm trying to do, and these are little workouts. These aren't like grandiose, you're in the gym for hours. The one workout is going to be nice, long, and, uh, you know, energetic. Has a lot. The other ones are like little spurts just to keep the burning of calories going. And that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep my body in that constant state where it's trying to burn calories. Now, another thing I'm doing is instead of doing this semi-quasi not really keto diet, I'm trying to go pure carnivore. Knock out all carbs, all sugars, pure carnivore diet, and hopefully that will boost my weight loss. Remember, last year I did real keto. This was hardcore keto. This wasn't like a lot of vegetables involved. <clears throat> and I lost two pounds basically a day. That would be my, uh, that was really awesome. And that's no workout. So, carnivore diet, more extreme than keto, working out. Three times a day, one main workout, two little workouts to keep the calorie burn going. I'm trying to lose three pounds a day. And uh, with March being 31 days, that's basically, that's basically what I'm going for. Three pounds a day. Um, at that rate, I could possibly even lose 100 pounds this month. Now, that would be phenomenal. I mean, mathematically, it could happen. It's like 3.3 pounds. And you're there uh, if you lose 3.3 pounds a day. But uh, March Madness, carnivore diet, pure meat. You can eat on carnivore. You basically you're allowed eggs. You're allowed fish. You're allowed beef. I mean, it's the carnivore diet. So basically, you know, it goes without saying. Carnivore. It's in the name. They eat the meat. Eat meat here. So anything from an animal. You can eat uh, eggs. Uh, milk, cheese, those things are part of the carnivore diet. And uh, I was watching videos of my old instructor um, when I was a kid. And uh, he has his own YouTube channel. It's uh, Movement is Life, Mike Lee Kinnerick. And um, it's phenomenal. But the last three videos, it was almost, and this is purely my only child syndrome where everything has to be about me but it was like he was talking directly to me and his last video <clears throat> the last video I watched he was saying you have to make time you have to make time to work out you can't find the time and that's basically what I let happen to me this past month also of course Valentine's Day I ate some sweets with my sweet um Went a little bit off the diet on certain days. I mean, I had two birthdays for two of my kids, or actually three birthdays. Um, one at the beginning of the month is my wife's birthday. And I have both my kids 
and then I got Valentine's Day too. It's it's a whole slew of holidays, but you should never let that disrupt your goals to the level that it has. I mean, I'm supposed to lose 17 pounds, and what I do? I lost one pound. That's nothing. So, just to recap, very disappointing, failed month of February. Failed, failed, failed. Um, can I take that on my shoulders? I mean, I, I did what I did. So, here we are going into the month of March. Like I said, it's March Madness. And <clears throat> I love, uh, when I was a kid, Macho Man Randy Savage because of his energy. He was electric. It was like it was like lightning ran through the man's veins. And that's what I'm going to try to bring to the gym with me. And your attitude has to be 100% into it too. Because if you're just in the gym and you're just lifting weights and you're just, uh, uh, you know, you're just like, oh, it's so bad. You know, just go cross-eyed with it, you know. It's not going to help you. But if you go in there and you have full energy and don't do it anger, enjoy it. Uh, one of my favorite people in bodybuilding is Arnold. And he talks about always having a good attitude for the gym. And he loves the gym. He loves the burn and whatnot. So, I'm also going to trick my mind into loving that burn and being a part of that burn and just wanting more of that burn. So here we go into March Madness with my instructor's philosophy, movement is life, and making time to work out. So that is the main thing. Make time to work out. Don't try to find time. It won't be there. And he was right about that. And that's where I went wrong this past month. So thank you once again to Mike Lee Kinneric. Um That was some good advice. And uh, here we go. March Madness. That's right. Ooh, yeah. Just two days away. March Madness. Ooh. So I got to the end of my video and I realized I need more of a challenge. So for the month of March, 3.3 pounds a day. That's exactly what I'm going to do. March Madness, I'm going to lose 100 pounds. And that will be the fastest weight loss in history. Right now they have 100 pounds in seven weeks. I'm going to do it in four weeks and three days. That's how many days are in the month of March. So that's what I'm going for. 100 pounds March Madness. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Savage weight loss.